Hey student, welcome back to the next video of curve tracing. So guys, here we are gonna learn the first property of curve tracing that is nothing but the point of intersection with coordinate axis. So guys, what is point of intersection? So you are learning this concept from school days. So these are the points at which our curve intersects the coordinate axis. Okay, so basically we are finding the point of intersection with coordinate axis. So how to get this point of intersection? So let's assume that you have been given the equation of curve as y equal to f of x and you want to find out the point of intersection in this case so how do we find it out so to get the point of intersection we put x equal to 0 and we get the value of y or we find the value of y so that becomes one point of intersection and then we put y as 0 and we get the value of x so there we get another point point of intersection so guys it is possible that we'll get only one point of intersection or we might get two or we might get four also so uh, let me write down the points over here so i'll say for point of intersection so here i'll say <clears throat> p o i so first of all I'll say put x equal to 0 and find y. So guys here in this case our point of intersection will be like this that is 0 comma y. And then we'll put y equal to 0 and we'll find x. So in this case, our point of intersection will be like this, x comma 0. So guys here, I have taken the general case, so I got two point of intersection, but it is possible that we'll, we can get the four point of intersections as well, or only one point of intersection. So let's take some example. Let's say I have a curve y equal to x square, or let's say I have a curve, 3x plus y equal to 6 and I want to find out the point of intersection of these two curves. So let's start with the first curve. So here put x equal to 0. So by putting x equal to 0 here we will get y equal to 0 square. So I have already written y as 0. So y will be 0. So 0 comma 0 will be point of intersection. Next if I use the second one that is put y as 0, so y 0, so x square is 0, it means x is 0. It means see here, I am just getting one point of intersection. Now let's see the second case. So here to find out the point of intersection, first of all, we'll put x as 0. So when x is 0, this will become 0 and y will be 6. Similarly, now I'll put y as 0, so 3x equal to 6 or x equal to 2. So guys, here I am getting two points of intersection. Similarly, if I take one more example of let's say circle. So, you know the equation of circle is like this. X square plus Y square equal to R square or I'll say A square where A is the radius. Now here if I want to find out the point of intersection with coordinate axis, then by putting X as 0, we will get y square equal to a square. So it means y will be positive a or negative a. It means we are getting two point of intersection when x is 0. Now let's make y as 0. So x square will be a square. So x will be plus or minus a. So a comma 0 and minus a comma 0. So guys here in this case we are getting four point of intersections so guys it depends on the equation and the given curve that how the point of intersection will be or how many point of intersection will get so here you have seen 
the second equation that is 3x plus y equal to 6. So guys, let me tell you about this equation. This equation is the equation of a straight line, okay, because this is the uh, linear curve. You can see here the power of x is 1 and y is 1. So let me tell you that whenever you want to trace a straight line, so for a straight line, we just follow a single characteristic of the curve that is point of intersection. So by analyzing this point of intersection with coordinate axis characteristic, we can draw any straight line of the world. So here I got the point as 0, 6 and 2, 0. On next page, I'll show you how this straight line will look like. So let's assume that this is my x-axis and this is my y-axis. And let's say on this y-axis, there is a point 6. So let's consider it as 6 over here. So I have two points. One is 0, 6. So this point will lie on y-axis here at 6. And this point is 2, 0. So 2, 0 will come here. Let's say this is the 2, 0 point. So it means my straight line is going to pass through these two points. So I'll draw it roughly. So guys, my straight line will look like this. And this is the equation of line 3x plus y equal to 6. Now you must have understood that why in school days you were finding this point of intersection for a straight line. So straight line is a such a type of curve where by using the point of intersection with coordinate axis characteristic we can understand the general shape or the uh, the point of intersections of the straight line so guys here we have covered the point of intersection with coordinate axis characteristic and i am sure that you understood this video so if you want to learn more videos about the curve tracing and engineering mathematics then do not forget to log in to ekeda.com and also you can spread this channel and this website to your friends so that they can subscribe they can join the ekeda.com and they can also enjoy the mathematics videos unlimited so thank you very much see you in the next video to learn the further characteristics of curve tracing thank you